Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So Ella is down for a nap. It's been a long day so far. Um, we got up at 9.30 and I was kind of mad. We were, we got to Meadville at around nine or around 10 o'clock. Um, we left here at like 9.45, 15 minute drive, you know, around 10 o'clock. Um, and we were supposed to meet this guy that was supposed to buy an Xbox. Um, and then he messaged him at like quarter after 10 and told him that he couldn't meet. So we, you know, ugh. um, anyways, we ended up going to Erie. Um, I don't know about your guys' states. But here in PA, they're starting to open things back up. And I think Tim said we went into like the yellow zone, which is like, you're still taking extra precautions, still social distancing yourselves, but more star stores are starting to open. Um, and hopefully <laughs> everything goes good. There haven't been any new cases of COVID in the county that we live in for I think three weeks now so fingers crossed things stay good and we can just open up um we're set to actually open up most stores on the 8th so in two days from now um I'm really hoping things go smoothly um but we had to or we didn't have to we stopped at Target um I was telling Tim the other day when I was up at Target that they're taking more precautions than like Walmart. Um, Target, they're very strict about how many people are in the store. They're strict about um, one of their employees are constantly sanitizing the carts. Um, they are, they're just being more cautious and that's what I prefer. Um, I don't normally care to shop at Target because things are way overpriced and there's just a lot of people in Target 95% of the time, but they are doing things right. Um, like the one chick at self-checkout, uh, she was having issues with her card scanning. The employee told her to step six feet back and she would come in and, you know, help her out and stuff like that. And it was just really, really great. Um, I only had one issue and that was one person got a little bit too close to me and Tim, but she backed right off once she realized she just wasn't paying attention. Um, so that was great. We stopped at Walmart. Um, I had to grab a couple of tests, which I will show you guys that here in a second. And then I all, or we also stopped at Home Depot. So we stopped at Home Depot because Tim's thinking about buying me a new stove. So we went to look at stoves. Um, we were going to buy one today, but we decided to wait. We took pictures of the stove. We took pictures of like the price and the, um, like model number and stuff. And we're going to compare prices on, I don't know if Amazon sells stoves or not, but on like Best Buy, if they, I don't think they would have stoves like Lowe's. Yeah. We're, we're just going to look around for the best deal. Um, for that stove so there was one i really liked it was very 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 blue on the inside and i thought it was awesome um but all of the stoves the two stoves that are contenders right now um they all have the five like burners so i thought that was like a deal breaker if it didn't have it i didn't want it because it's not really an upgrade but i would love a new stove <laughs> um anyways i got some things at target for Ella here so I'm just gonna show you stuff from Walmart first because it's on top so I got my prescriptions it's my citrazine which is like my um forget what the knockoff or what the name brand is Claritin or something I don't know it's citrazine is what I got um it's my allergy pill and then trying to find some place to like set you guys so it's higher up but also something somewhat sort of sturdy not a water bottle cap here I'm afraid of you guys like falling for or falling backwards and hitting the viewfinder and busting 
So I think if I just move very carefully, hopefully this will work. Um, and then I just got five of the Equate One Step Pregnancy Tests. Um, I, I tested last night, or yesterday afternoon, really, um, and it was with a blue dye test. And I know blue dyes are not good. I know they're known for, like, giving false positives because of just the dye in and of itself, really. Um, however... I was kind of bummed out because it did show up positive um, but all of my red dye tests have been negative um, but I've been testing once a day with these and with my little dip tests um, from what I was reading though is the dip tests take longer to show a positive so I keep getting these two just in case and then I also got myself some sunscreen <sighs> saw you guys like move um, I got myself some sunscreen it's SPF 70 um, just the equate stuff so got that I'm like trying to be very careful here um, and then we also got two books they're the little golden books for Ella uh, we got I Am a Narwhal, which was $4.74. And then we also got the Dumbo book. I Am Dumbo. Um, it was $3.98. So, I picked those out for her because I was going to buy them for her, but he ended up buying them. Then we went to Target. So, at Target... We got her these cute little shoes, which she ended up putting on before we even left the store. Uh, she was very adamant about it. So we got her these cute little shoes. Um, I wanted to get them in the next size up because I thought these were really cute. I think they're adorable. Um, but they only had size 2, 3, and 4. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look online tonight, see if maybe I can't find size 5 and have them shipped to me. But they are so stinking cute. Um, they're very sparkly and just, I don't know, I just think they're very cute. Um, and those were a little on the pricier side. They were $24.99. Um, but it says it fits wide feet, which she has. It has memory foam, anti-sting lining, flexible outsoles, traction pods to help reduce falls, Simple closure for easy on and off. And I think Tim said that they were um, like waterproof too. Or like water resistant. I don't know where he saw that but got those. And then we got her these um, in size 5. So these are the Surprise by Stride Right Stage 2 um, is what these shoes were. And then we got her these which are Cat and Jack, which were $19.99. Um, just little sandals. Um, size 5 because she she seems to be growing out of size 4 rather quickly. These are size 4, which I'm kind of bummed that we paid that much for them. Um, but she loved them, wanted them on her feet immediately. And I can always save them for baby next, like next baby. Then I struck gold and I got one of these Germex. You could only buy one though, which sucked. There was a whole display of them. I would have rather had two or three, but got some Germex moisturizing hand sanitizer. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, we haven't been able to find hand sanitizer in a long time. Tim got some new socks. Um, he needed socks desperately. Uh, it has always get holes. I don't know how, but it's a six pair Hanes Premium Ultra Cushion socks. I think these were, um, his socks were $14.79. I'm telling you guys prices just in case you guys are interested in buying them. Oh my gosh, then we found this swimsuit. 
swimsuit was $7.48. And we got it for her for the summer, which it's one of the long sleeve swimsuits, which I hated until I had a kid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Tim peeked into the door. It was a little creepy. Scared me. Um, he doesn't like to interrupt my videos, which is sweet, but scared me. Um, so we got her this little swimsuit. It's like a spandexy material. Um, it says it was made in Vietnam. It's just Cat and Jack. Um, but it's this cute little rainbow long sleeve, like tutu swimsuit. It does have the buckles down here. And it's also got a zipper in the back to help get in and out of it. Um, but yeah, up until I had kids, I thought the long sleeve swimsuits were the worst. I'm like, why would you put a long sleeve something on a kid that's going in the water? Like, then once I had her, I realized to prevent the sunburn and stuff like that the best that they can. Um, I'll still put, obviously still put sunscreen on top, but yeah. I just thought this was really cute and it's got rainbows which I adore because she's my little rainbow and this was on it was I think originally um 30 percent off but it's now 50 percent off it says it was originally 14.99 and it brought it down to 7.48 so we got her that little swimsuit for this summer we got her this dress. Tim picked this out, it was $16.99. Um, but this cute little floral dress, it's got the little poofy sleeves. Um, it does have bloomers in here, which is awesome. Um, but it's just this little florally, florally dress. I'm like making sure Tim's not coming back in right now, but it does have the little bloomers, they're just white that match the underskirt but it's still a really really cute dress it's got a little bow here I didn't even notice that <clears throat> and then I pick let her pick out a dress which she picked out this one it's cat and jack it was $12.99 um and it's this pink tank top top and this little tutu down here and it's got the colors in the tool and it also has the white bloomers with it but she picked this one out she was what I can't find my socket set it was up on top you came over and got it the one day because it was up on the swing set and I sat it down. Sat it down, and then you went to work, you came home, I saw you grab it and you took it back over. You sure? I know for sure, because I saw you in the camera. I was like, what is he doing? And I saw you grab your set. I don't remember taking it. I don't know where it'd be. It must be over there. Did you guys maybe go to Franklin that day? It was the first day that she played on the swing set. I might have left it up there. But yeah, just a cute little skirt or dress. That's a dress and a skirt. Uh. Okay, and then last thing that we got was this. This one I do believe was on sale. Um yep. It was originally $22.99. It was eleven forty eight that we paid. So we ended up getting this in a 2T, so it'll fit her later. Um, the reason why we bought it in a 2T is because I saw it and I thought it would be great for her Christmas pageant um, that I plan to put her in again this year. So I think this year they're doing Christmas theme dresses. Um, as to where last year I could wear, or she could wear the purple dress that went with her, uh, or with the wedding that we were in. Um, but I think this year she said they're doing themed dresses. This is Cat and Jack 2T. Um, but it's this white 
dress and it's got like little green like sparkle type things I don't know if you guys can even really see that um, it looks so much better in person than what it's picking up on camera but it's got like the rainbow iridescence you guys can see it a little bit there um, but it's just a little white dress with the little frilly sleeves here turn it around I think this was probably one of their Easter dresses but it's got a little bow back here um, it does not come with bloomers but that's okay I could probably just fit one of those underneath to be honest um, but the lining is like a silk like it's like a silky it's lining says 100% polyester but it's so it, it honestly feels like silk um, so we got that for her to wear to her Christmas pageant this year I am super excited hopefully they still do the Christmas pageant this year um, she was talking about making it a yearly thing, but, uh, last year was the first year that it was open, and I'm really hoping it's open again this year because she is, we think a reason that she actually got third place is because not only was she the youngest, but she wasn't walking either, but now she is. I just think this is too darling. So we got that for her too. I'm gonna get that hung up and put in her closet and set aside for Christmas. And then just a cute little pair of like tights and oh, but yeah, I need to edit, I need to upload. And then Tim wants me to go through pictures because we got a digital picture frame for his mom for Mother's Day. Um, so he wants me to go through pictures of Ella my nephew Crixus and see if we have any of our nephew Carson that we just never get to see. So he wants me to go through those and get them set into a folder so he can copy them over. Um, and then we're gonna get it wrapped up. I need to get some wrapping paper though. And then I don't know what else I'm gonna do today. Watch a couple of videos, um, just kind of relax the rest of the day, but I uh, just gotta wait for her to wake up, which she, I do believe she fell asleep. Um, it's currently 4.39. It's so late in the afternoon, but we have been up since 9.30, roughly. And I'm ready to go to bed, but let's get to doing what we've got to do. Alright, so... <laughs> been a while since I last saw you guys it's 10 after 9 I just got her to bed um she wasn't too whiny tonight which was pretty great um and I pretty much just took this time to get some one-on-one -on -one quality time last couple of days were pretty stressful she's at this stage where she knows what she wants um but I don't know what she wants and she's trying to communicate it with me but she doesn't quite know how because she can't really say a whole lot of different words so it's been a struggle trying to adapt to this um, stage of her life which I'm sure I'll get used to um, it's just been the last like two or three days it's been pretty rough um, so I've been trying to just relax and breathe because I get flustered because she's just whiny all the time and I can't help it like I just I can't help it so uh, I showed you guys these two um, golden books that she got that I bought for her well her dad technically bought this one was bought off of my wish list for, it's got mostly stuff for her, a few items for me, and a couple of things for Tim. Um, I'm in a couple of gifting groups, and you have to have a wish list of some kind, and I've been putting the little golden books on there, and this was the very first one that was gifted to her, 
um, by a lady named Carolyn. She seems very sweet. Um, like I said, it was the very first gift that was bought off of her registry, or not registry, but her wish list, our wish list. And I just thought it was super sweet. I read this to her tonight, which is why the binding is a little rough. Um, not rough, but like you can tell it's bent as to where Dumbo, well, no, I guess Dumbo's kind of been opened. Um, I am a narwhal. You guys can see the binding has not been touched like it has on the frozen book. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but there's like a crease right here. Um, you can more or less see it on the front. Like how it's like worn already right here. Um, that's how they get because of the bindings and stuff. You guys can see on I Am a Narwhal, it's not like that. So, um, I'm sure all of these books will get a lot of use. Um, but these are three that she has now. Um, she does have the Baby Shark one. And she does have a pack of, I think, 12 that Tim bought her. Um, they should be here, hopefully, within the week. Um, but yeah. I'm tired. Um, it's been a long day. We got up, like I said, early. Um, I don't know how people get up at like 7 o'clock every day. Granted, we didn't get to bed until like 3, but you know. Um, right now though, I'm going to go through Tim's Google Pictures. Um, he just has a bunch of pictures saved. Um, you guys can see this is all from Father's Day last year and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to go through all of those, find some good pictures of Ella, uh, see if there's any good pictures of my mother-in-law with Ella, um, any with my father-in-law, with my nephew, stuff like that. Um, this way we can get them put onto this picture frame for my mother-in-law, <clears throat> um, for Mother's Day. She had one before, but it was like crappy. It went so slow. Um... And it broke within, like, the month of her getting it, I think. So, definitely gonna have to go through. Um, hopefully this is a better one. We think it will be. So far, it seems pretty good. Tim took a couple pictures on my phone, or on my camera, to mess with. So, hopefully we can get some good pictures on it. Uh, but I'm probably just gonna go ahead and end tonight's vlog here. Is this why I was tired? <sighs> but yeah, anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye.